Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sell templates on Gumroad. Gumroad is one of the top e-commerce platforms and you can sell anything basically on Gumroad and they don't charge anything to sign up. The first thing you will need to do once on Gumroad.com, you are going to create an account if you don't have one already. So you are going to tap on sign up in the top right hand corner right where you see dashboard on my screen. And there are numerous sign up options when it comes on to Gumroad. For example, you can sign up using your email address, your Gmail address, or you can use different social media platforms. For instance, you could use Twitter or Facebook to sign up. And as I said earlier, they don't charge you a fee. Instead, they will take a 10% flat commission for everything that you sell. Once you have signed up and you have verified your email address, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. Once on the dashboard, what I want you to do next is go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on products. After selecting products, you are going to tap on new product. After selecting new product, from here you could enter the name of your product right here. So let's say, for example, I would like to name this test. After doing that, all you'll need to do now, you could tap on digital product since a template is a digital product and you're going to scroll down and then you can see enter the price. So let's say I want to sell it for $5. You can also choose the currency by tapping on the dollar sign and you will see the different currency options. Once you have chosen a currency of your liking, you will tap on next in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on next, you will be redirected to this page. And this is basically the cover page or where you would put your mock up. A good platform to create mock ups would be Canva. As with Canva, again, you can sign up for completely free. So we are going to go on to canva.com. And what I would recommend you do is you could simply tap on the search bar right here and you could type in mockups. So let's do that real quick. So let's type in mockups real quick. Then you could tap on search. After you have tapped on search, you will see numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can see the different templates appearing right here. So you can simply select one of your liking. As you can see, there are numerous templates that you can choose from. And keep in mind that any one of the templates that you see with the Pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But let's say, for example, I would like to use this template. I'll simply tap on the template. Then I'm going to tap on Customize this template. After you have tapped on customize this template, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you could upload your digital product. So you could upload your template. So to do that, I'll go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads. Then you could upload file and you could upload your template. But for example sake, I will simply use something for, from elements. So I'll simply go onto elements and let's say, for example, sake, I'll just type in book. And then I'm going to select a regular photo right here. Let's see, I'll select a photo real quick. So this photo and I'm going to drag and place it. Then you could edit the text right here. After you have done that, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then you are going to tap on download and you'll tap on download again. Once you have downloaded your mockup, you are going to go back onto your dashboard and you are going to scroll down and right where you see cover, you'll tap on upload image, select computer files. Then you are going to select the mockup, tap on open and you'll see a preview of the mockup on the right hand column as you can see right here. Then you are going to scroll down and from here you can choose your call to action. 
and the call to action would simply be the text that customers will tap on to make a purchase. You have three options, either I want this, buy this, or pay. You can select whichever option you want. Then you're going to scroll down and you can see the price right there. If you want to offer different versions of your template, you can do that. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on content. And this is where you're going to upload your template. So again, you're going to tap right where you see the insert file. And you could tap on computer files. And from there, you could search for your template. You can download it as a zip file if you want. And then the customers will be able to access the zip file. So let's say, for example, say this zip file right here. I'll simply tap on open. And you can see the zip file is loading up. Once it has loaded up, you're going to tap on publish and continue in the top right hand corner. Now that I've tapped on publish and continue, it is now live as you can see right here. So if I were to tap on preview, you will be able to see how it looks as you can see right here. So first they will see the mock up of your template. Then if they were to tap on buy this, they would be led to this page. And from here, all they'll need to do is fill in their email address, which it would be delivered to. And then they'll simply tap on pay and that's it. The reason why you're seeing these options, these are products that I had created in the past example products. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. But one more thing before going away, you will need to set up the payment options. To set up the payment options to offer, for example, PayPal or Stripe, once on the dashboard, you're going to tap on payouts. After selecting payouts from the left hand menu option, you're going to tap on settings in the top right hand corner. Then you're going to tap on PayPal and you could enter your PayPal email address, select the account type, enter your first last name address and some basic information. Then you're going to tap on connect with PayPal. You can also tap on Stripe and you'll be able to connect your Stripe account. After you have entered the information, you'll tap on update settings in the top right hand corner and that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.